STEM is the study of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. The curriculum of surrounding STEM is ever-changing, and it's getting kids to be more hands-on with their learning. So this morning, we go inside the classroom of Mr. O'Brien's eighth grade class over at Hubbard Middle School, where his lesson plans truly start at the STEM. Turn it on. Get Cycling, gardening, and having a salad with a couple of tomatoes on top are just a few ways students at Hubbard Middle School are getting to enjoy their afternoons in the classroom. No, it's not jumping on a bike for gym class or having that salad during lunch, but they're actually enjoying all of that and gardening in their 8th grade health class. So they have the garden as well as a bike generator that students can get on, pedal to create electricity that then is used to power pumps in the garden. So they're learning about renewable energy, they're learning about sustainability, they're learning about where food comes from and the implications that that really has on their life and their health and the, the community around them. Katie and her husband Tom Fibbs are co-owners of Let Us Do Good, which is an indoor gardening and STEM education company that brings hydroponics into 28 schools locally. These kids are learning what it takes to turn that sprout into a salad. The students are actually eating what they grow, and studies have been shown over and over again, especially through the United States Department of Agriculture, that kids who uh, grow healthy food are much more likely to eat healthy food. The idea of eating kale is really growing on these kids, and the best part is getting to enjoy the fruits of their labor, or vegetables in this case, every couple weeks. It's really cool. Like Every two weeks we get to eat the lettuce. Everyone will bring in croutons, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, and they just make their salads, and yeah, it's pretty cool. So cool, it's actually grabbing the attention of Congressman Tim Ryan, who visited the class earlier this week to encourage the students to keep eating healthy, be conscious of what's in their food, and where the food comes from. You throw a textbook at them, they're not going to pay attention, especially with all the technology. You actually got to get them doing things, and to do it in a classroom where you can monitor it, and then grow it, and then eat the food. Congratulations, Hubbard, and to the Fibs from Let Us Do Good. Now, folks at home, if you have any stories about great work being done inside the classroom, we want to share the story. So please send those ideas, whether it's about educators or students, to WFMJ today at WFMJ.com.